What's up guys, Ace here, bringing you another card of the day, and today we have War Room. It's a land with two abilities. First ability adds a colorless to your mana pool, and second ability, pay three mana into it, tap War Room, and also pay life equal to the amount of colors in your, color, in your commander's color identity to draw a card. Now, the best thing about this card is the fact that it's a land, so the opportunity cost is super low, but also the more colors, less colors you run in your commander deck, the better this land is. Because essentially you're paying maybe one, maybe two life, tap this. If you're playing a colorless deck, you have no colors in commander's color identity. So there's just three mana draw a card, which is pretty decent. If you're playing white, who has a lot of ways to gain life, this becomes pretty trivial to draw cards off of this, especially with not having much to do because you're playing white at the end of people's turns. This essentially is just a mana sink where you can end up drawing cards to something white really isn't known for doing unless you're playing, of course, cards like Mangara or um sram so this card is pretty sweet i think it even can go in decks that are already drawing a bunch of cards um just because like maybe you don't draw your draw cards or your draw engines and this just becomes a second draw engine however they don't have the ability to gain as much life or protect themselves as much as white um or even like destroy as much things as red so like say like blue decks they might want this but generally if you're playing a blue deck you have better draw spells but being a land means this is still pretty good for blue and sometimes you just don't have enough to do in a turn so this just draws a card if you don't have your cantrips or something i think this card just generally should be played from anywhere between like battle cruiser to i, I would say high power if not cedh I was thinking of CDH, and I think if you're playing a monocolor deck in CDH, this is probably pretty decent as well. It's just three mana, I mean four mana essentially, to draw a card. And if you're not doing anything, like this is just better. And one colorless in your mana in your mana base is probably worth it if you're playing one color. Um, and I think that's pretty decent. Like opportunity cost for this is so low, and drawing a card for some life and some mana that you're not using is pretty good. Like we already know four life. To draw a card off of sylvan libraries playable um this is less also it does have a activation cost which kind of sucks compared to sylvan but like the life isn't a deal at all um i guess with that being said maybe you play in like a two color deck right uh, of course it's colorless so that means you have to detract from some of your other utility lands but generally this card is, i think is pretty decent i played it a few times myself i have a <laughs> i have a little little copy of it for the time being while it's in the mail coming to me and I've drawn a lot of cards when I got this early. Having cards like Expedition Map or the Wayfarer to grab this early means you're never going to be out of card draw. And even if they like destroy your utility commander like mine, which is Mangara, it's like you're still going to be able to draw a card, which is pretty nice. So I think this card is pretty decent and should probably be played in, like, if not all, most monocolor decks. And I think that can be said for the same thing for like tiers or metas you're playing in. If not all, most metas. Um, maybe maybe not, not so if you're playing like a high power mono color but even then I, i'm i'm really hesitant to not put it in it's just a decent card the the cost of playing it is so low guys should definitely play it definitely play it um but yeah tell me guys what you think about this in the comment section down below have you guys played it have you guys drew a lot of cards off of it i think i played a game i ended up drawing like one one turn every turn cycle past turn like six because i just had mana up for days and it doesn't get stopped by collector Oof. i was drawing like i think it was at the end of the game I, I had to count it next time but it was like four cards off of this i was like yeah I'm totally fine with this <laughs> definitely worth it um and being able to fetch it is just it's just cake right so yeah tell me what you guys think about this in the comments down below i think it's pretty decent but uh yeah tell me what you guys think about it and see you guys later